Could creepy crawlies help end hunger? When a nonprofit organization teamed up with Bill Clinton's foundation and asked graduate students for their ideas on the global food crisis, bugs were the solution from a team from McGill University. It was one of 10,000 proposals, but would it fly? Joanna Romiliotis picks up the story. Minutes to showtime. The room is buzzing with excitement, crawling with anticipation. This is, after all, a night of big dreams, big ideas, and wait for it, bugs. But tonight, I ask you to look down at the earth. The answer is at your feet. The answer is insects. Yep, six-legged meals. Insects. These McGill students are making a pitch for the best out-of-the-box idea to help feed the world's hungry. They've got 10 whole minutes to do it. The prize? One million dollars to turn their vision into reality. Compared to the farming of traditional livestock, insects require drastically less land, water, and feed. They've been honing the pitch for months. The business model, go to poor countries where people eat insects. Give them portable farms, in this case, to grow crickets for themselves and sell the rest for profit. Create a distribution network to make it all happen. I saw insects going in one door and then cash coming out of the door. <laughs> and so it was an instant sell for me, and from there we, we just scaled the idea up. Stomach churning stuff? Maybe. But two billion people worldwide eat bugs regularly. McGill's pitch even includes grinding up crickets into flour. And a recent UN report recommends more people get over insect indigestion. As protein sources go, edible bugs may be more sustainable than almost anything else in our diets. Africa is the fastest urbanizing region. A new model for small retail. A solution to food insecurity. 10,000 teams applied to try out for this prize. Only six made it this far, and only one could win. Former U.S. President Bill Clinton was on hand to announce the winner. From McGill University, Aspire. What's the question? The answer is I'm, I'm out of words, whatever the question is. <laughs> Next step is to get on planes, get on the ground, and start producing insects en masse as fast as we can. They're off to develop the project in Mexico, and they just got a million bucks to help them do it. Joanna Rumeliotis, CBC News, New York.